Hi everyone, it's Professor Shima again. I've spent a lot of time talking about how supply chain management helps companies do things better, faster, and cheaper. In particular, how it helps company cut costs. And all of that's true. Uh, I just, I wanna spend a little time talking about how supply chain management can also help companies grow their business and help them sell more stuff at wider margins. And that's actually a role that supply chain management is starting to partake in uh, that isn't necessarily new, but it's one that's not in the past gotten enough attention. So to reiterate what I've said in the past regarding supply chain management and its ability to cut costs, that's all true. If you remember the formula for return on investment, that calculation that every company out there is obsessed with, return on investment is profit margin times asset turnover rate. So quite simply, if you can take, take a company's margins and widen them, you raise that company's ROI. That's fantastic. There is no functional area that can play a greater role in helping a company widen its margins. And one of the best ways to help a company widen its margins is to help it cut its costs. For most manufacturing companies out there, when they sell something for a dollar, 50, 60, 70, 80 cents of that $1 worth of sales revenue is in direct material purchases and direct material costs. And where do, do most of those direct material costs come from? From the suppliers that they buy material and parts from. And who's responsible for that? Supply chain management. So again, if a company sells something for a dollar and is obsessed with widening its margins, one of the most effective ways for widening its margins is cutting its costs and where do most of its costs come from? From its supply chain. That's why supply chain management typically will have a vice president of supply chain management in most organizations and it will have executive level, level representation that reports to, to the CEO of the company. If you go back to the ROI formula, profit margin times asset turnover rate, yes, if you widen margins, ROI goes up. But if you also do more with less, you increase your company's asset turnover rate. You know, asset turnover rate is kind of a complicated calculation, but keep it simple. Asset turnover rate basically to me means doing more with less. Who can help you do more with less? Supply chain management. Um, I, one of the ways that you can do that is through outsourcing or reducing your inventory or reducing uh, how much you pay per part for the material that is in your inventory. So I've spent a lot of time talking about the ability to, of supply chain management to help a company cut its costs and how that'll be a major role of you as a supply chain professional and such. So trying to figure out in creative strategic ways so that it benefits the company both short term and long term and basically drives down costs. If you have 300 million in spend and you go to your boss and say, I've taken that 300 million in spend and I've gotten that down to 275 million, that $25 million cost savings is equivalent to $25 million worth of pre-tax profit to that company's bottom line. You're a rock star. Okay, but the other part of this too is companies can widen their margins and pump up their ROI if they sell more and more stuff and increase sales revenue, especially on products that have wider margins. For a lot of companies that recruit from our program, increasing sales revenue, market share, and volume typically isn't an option because they're in super saturated competitive industries. But there are a lot of companies out there in industries that are growth industries. There are a lot of companies out there that when they sell something for a dollar, they don't have one, two, three, four, five, ten cents left over. They might have 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 cents left over. They might be in industries where margins are wide, mostly because they're in high growth industries. So to give you an example, I was talking to the CPO of a company, Chief Procurement Officer, who actually reports to the CFO of the company. And the CPO was telling me that when he speaks to the CFO, the CFO tells him, I don't want to hear about cost savings. I don't want to hear about what you're doing to save us money. I want to know what you're doing to help us sell more stuff with wider margins. In other words, the CFO isn't going to the CPO for help to cut costs to widen margins. He's going to the CPO to help that company sell more stuff with wider margins. The CFO recognizes that they're in a growth industry. They want to tap into that growth as much, if not more, as tapping into cost savings opportunities. Companies and industries with super wide margins that are in growth industries 
I don't want to say they ignore cost savings opportunities. I don't want to say they're complacent on cost savings opportunities because there's money to be made there by cutting costs, but they don't want to do that at the expense of foregoing growth opportunities in an industry that is growing, that typically has wide margins. So if you look at those types of companies in those industries where they sell something for a dollar and have 40, 50, 60, 70 cents left over, if you look at their supply chain management organizations, I wouldn't say that they're not strategic. I wouldn't say that they're complacent. I wouldn't say that they don't have a sense of urgency for cutting costs because they do, maybe not to the extent that other more mature industries do, but they still take all that stuff seriously, but they also might take just as seriously the opportunity to grow revenue, market share, and volume on business that has wide margins for their companies. So for example, let's say the CPO meets with someone on the marketing side and someone on the marketing side said, you know what, I talked to a hospital and they said, if we could design and build this for them, and in general, this doesn't exist, they would pay us this much for it. Is there a way that you could help us get this to market at this cost so we could sell it at this price and have these margins? What I've just described there is called reverse supply chain management or reverse marketing. Supply chain management's ability to work with its supply chain and its suppliers to get something to market at a targeted cost so that that company's customers could buy it at a targeted price so that they have certain margins left over that would make them very, very happy. So for example, let's say this company says, can we design and build this for 60 cents so that we could sell it for a dollar and have 40% margins per se? And then you work with your supply chain to do that. To me, that's a combination of doing things better, faster, and cheaper, but also helping the company grow its revenue, market share, and volume. In other words, supporting its growth strategy. So again, I've spent a lot of time talking about how you're gonna go into jobs where you're gonna to try to help the company save money. And that will be a major role for a lot of you, especially in industries that aren't in growth industries where the margins are really thin and tight because the only way they can make more money is to save money. But there are companies out there that recruit from the program where the expectation will be, yeah, help us cut costs and do things better, faster and cheaper, but likewise help us sell stuff that has wider margins. And that will require that uh, you work with new product development and the marketing folks understand what your customers want, what their expectations are, what they're willing to pay, and then work backwards in reverse with your supply chain to get something into the market on time at a cost that gives you the margins that your CFO wants, okay? So I just wanted to throw that out there that we can't ignore supply chain management's opportunity to help support a company's growth strategy. So again, to increase ROI, <clears throat> you can cut cost to widen margins, or you can increase sales revenue, um, especially if it's on stuff that has wider margins, and that would make the company's ROI go up, and supply chain management can help on both sides of it, the cost saving side and the sales revenue side. Thank you, and I will talk to you soon.